guys, J.C. Smith here, not driving the dump truck. These old country roads that we live on are uh, in pretty bad shape. And uh, anyway, so I had the truck out and I uh, went out and got license plates on it, went and put insurance on it, and uh, put some miles on it, making sure she's doing all right, and uh, not too bad. I'm pretty pleased, the PTO works well. It's a pretty rough ride, empty as you can imagine. It's a short truck with a 33,000 GBW. So, uh, you know, it's not exactly the smoothest in the world, but that's all right. Okay guys, so this is what's next real quick. I'm gonna take a few hours. It's kind of windy today, hope you can hear, but I'm gonna take a few hours, paint this frame up real quick. Our weather's changing here. We got temperature drops. And it's late in the afternoon. I took the morning to get the dump truck all plated and insured and ready to be used. I got some things to do with it here in the next day. Um, so here it is in the afternoon. So I'm gonna try and hurry up and get this done. I'm gonna try and get at least two good coats on. I'm just using my oil base uh, concoction that I have been using and I'm gonna spray it all. Hopefully we can get it. Hopefully it'll hold. Uh, if nothing else, it's better than it is right now. And uh, then I'm gonna set this off to the side and let this cure and we're gonna get back on that F-150. That's what that is, that F-150 frame. We're gonna put the 5.4 back in it and get back to work on that so I can get that truck done. So. Let me get uh, my paint mixed up. I think I'm just about ready to go. One more thing I want to mention was, obviously it's very windy today, so I'm gonna turn my pressure down a little bit because I don't want to be blowing any more paint on anything over here than I have to, even though you know, that, that truck's just for parts, but still, I don't want it blowing any more than I have to. So, uh, I'll show you something here I've, I've done. Um, rather than running my regulator on my air compressor up and down up and down from you know 175 down to 55 or 45 I think I'm sit it right now I'm at 60 I'm gonna turn that down but anyways I had a I had a uh, air compressor go bad a couple years ago and I kept the pressure switch and the uh, regulator off of it just an old porter cable a little cheapy so Rather than crank my regulator all the way up and all the way back down, I just put it in line in between these two hoses. And this is the smaller air hose I like to use when I'm painting so that I can keep my uh, bigger hose, the big heavy hose, from uh, you know getting covered in paint. And, and it has grease on it too, and I don't want that bumping up against the paint. So I just put this in line. Just thought I'd show you that. It's just kind of neat. Um, makes it a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to turn that down and... I got my paint mixed and we're ready to go. Oh, I gotta get my jack stands. I got 48 inch tall jack stands I'll put up here. and They're new, so I'm gonna cover them with garbage bags so I don't get them covered in black paint. Um, so let me get that set up and I'll get to painting here. Okay, so this is nothing new to many of you guys. It's just the, you know, gallon of rust oleum you get at the big box store and some acetone. Uh, four to one. I put in six ounces of acetone and fill the rest up to 24 ounces with, um, I guess that's three to one, I mean, uh, with black paint. And I stir it real good and uh, I let it sit just a second or two, just a few seconds, um, you know, 10, 15 seconds, whatever. I stir it again, make sure it's good to go, put it in the gun and go to work. And I'll show you that gun for anybody that hasn't seen it before. It's just a El Cheapo Harbor Freight. Um, top loader, top can gun, the purple, whatever you call this thing, but you know, it works well. Um, I mean, any of you that, if you're not new to my videos and you've seen a bunch of my stuff, you've seen I've painted an awful lot of stuff with that. It, uh, it really does well. It doesn't give me any troubles. I, uh, I can usually fill this gun twice out of this can. I don't like to fill it all the way to the top. And uh, hopefully this shouldn't take, you know, this frame's in fairly decent condition, so um, it shouldn't take but maybe four fills of the gun to do it. So um, that being said, that's ready to go. Get to painting. 
some days you get the bear, some days the bear gets you. I started painting. I got just about finished and it started raining. So I hope I hope it was dry enough because the water's definitely laying on it. Looks like it's gonna be okay, but we won't be able to tell until tomorrow. We'll see what it looks like, but this is the F-250 dually frame. It turned out pretty well. It does take quite a, it takes a good amount of time to get, you know, haul over and try and get every single nook and cranny. And even then, you know, I still end up missing a couple places here and there that I have to touch up. But, you know, you, you try and do, give it your best and get, do the best you can to make it, you know, like down in here, these areas are tough, you know. You have to turn the gun sideways and kind of spray it heavy and hope it runs in there, but I don't know. I guess it's better than the rusty frame it was when I started. So if it if any of it holds, I guess it's okay. I think it'll be okay. So, that being said, uh, tomorrow we have to go uh, drop off some, well, we're going to help some people, but we're going to use a dump truck tomorrow. So, um... We're going to put it to work and see how she does. So that'll be a, a good test. I got it all uh, plated and insured today and took it for a good old long test drive and seems to be doing really good. So I'm pretty pleased with it. It handles well. Um, we'll see how well it dumps. Um, I haven't had any, any weight in it yet, but we'll see. And I touched up the frame on the F-150. Yeah, so there was a few places on the F-150 that had started to show a little rust. There was a little lip right here that I didn't get real well in between these welds. And uh, the water laid on there and started to rust. So I took a flapper wheel and cleaned it up real quick. And just a few other places I touched up, of course, right as it rained. So it may not be for nothing, but we'll see. Cause we're going back together on this one and winter time's here. So I'm gonna have to go find some, some other wheels put on there got that wheel all filthy from working on that dump truck but um those tires are 305s i think yeah 305 70 17s i know i have some 17 inch truck tires over there but i have to find some wheels i don't have any f-150 wheels um i assume they're a five lug and everything i have is eight lug so anyways i touched up a few places just to since I had the paint out, just to make it as nice as we can. So we'll get back to work on this one soon.